Welcome to the program of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm your presenter, Pastor Flores Minor. I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA. And this is a production of One Word Digital Media, which is situated in Washington, in Seattle, Washington. What a privilege even for the, the, the blessing of technology. Uh, uh, Allow me to say this. It is good when we, we embrace the technology. It is good when we also embrace the, the media. I know many people don't. There are some people who don't like the media. But I want to encourage you, even as we are nearing to the world, the end of 2018, it is good that we know that where we started is not where we are. For example, with the mails. Mails used to be taken or delivered through the bicycles and before that I hear about the but I don't know about that. Then come the issue of the post office. When you used to have the post office box, you'd go and get that. Then there came the phone. Remember those phones we used to dial like this? You know, then there came the cell phone. There came the smartphone. And we continue and we continue. The cameras. We used to have those big cameras. People would do this, you know. And now here we are. We even have the phones with the, with the camera and the video. My brother, my sister, let us embrace the newness that comes with it because our God is a God who likes development no wonder the Bible tells us he shall continue to elevate us from one step of, of glory to another. I know some people have issues with media. They say there is a lot going on. But if you know there is something you don't like in the media, it is your responsibility to intercede. So I hope in 2019 you're going to change if you are that kind of a person. Anyway, the title of my message today will be Not Every Person accepts or celebrates your achievement because we are still in the season of christmas by the way i did not share on christmas day and yesterday why i wanted to give people chance to be able to embrace those messages i received so many christmas uh, you know wishes thank you very much to each and every person and to those i sent and those i didn't send sometimes you can forget because we are human and um, my one my verses of reference will be from the book of Matthew chapter 2, just two verses 7 and 8. I'm going to be reading from the New King James Passion in Jesus' name. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him also. May the Lord bless his word. If you read from the beginning of Matthew chapter 2, you'll see that the wise men pa passed through Herod's place and because they were walking in the right, they, all, they shared what had brought them and where they were headed. And Herod inquired from them and said, go and search. But he did not mean it. You need to be wise. May God help you, even as we are nearing the end of 2018 and crossing over to 2019, that God give you the spirit of wisdom, that you'll be able to know the people you are working with. You'll be able to know when you get those compliments. You'll be able to know when somebody comments something. Are they just doing that to provoke pride and God hates pride? Remember the Prince of Peace has been born. That's all about Christmas, the wonderful counselor. You need to have wisdom to preserve the peace that surpasses all human understanding. Peace is something you cannot buy from a store. Peace is something you cannot achieve because of your education. Peace is something you cannot achieve because you are rich. It is God who gives the peace. You can't buy it. And so you need to preserve your peace. Even in your family, you need to preserve your peace. Ask me what I mean. I know the man Job, his wife, told him, why don't you cast God and die? But because Job knew who he was, and he knew his call, he knew his focus, he told the wife, Shall we accept only good from the Lord and not evil? My brother, my sister, you need to have wisdom. There are those people who will come to provoke you so that your peace is no longer there, but you need to have wisdom. You don't need to be rude to somebody. Just ask the Lord to give you the right word that you are not going to hurt somebody. Let us learn to overcome evil by doing good. Now, when these wise men, Oh, were told by Herod. When we read uh, uh, also uh, later on, they were wise people. No wonder they were called wise men. The Lord appeared to them and gave them the message, do not pass there, because Herod's intention was to kill the baby Jesus. And they obeyed. 
Even as we add the year of 2018, may you be that person who can obey the voice of the Lord. Be attentive to the voice of the Lord. How are you going to be attentive? By being serious in prayer. Seek the Lord while he can be found. Wake up early in the morning and seek the Lord. A singer sang and said, Wake up early and seek the Lord so that you can have the strength to continue. I'm going to sing a little bit. It's in my mother tongue. That you will need to wake up and seek the Lord to have the strength. How about when those things come through your loved one, through those people you trust so much, wisdom is the key thing, how you reply. There are times that you are going to hear things. They will provoke you just because they want to get rid of what has been built, put in you. Herod wanted to kill the baby Jesus. There is a peace that you have. The enemy is after that. You have to preserve it. How do you preserve it? You preserve it by taking action to seek the Lord. By maintaining your stability in the Lord. You maintain your stability by reading the word of God, by serving the Lord, by giving testimony because testimony builds you up. It encourages you. And in as much as it encourages others, it gives you, you know, strength to grow. And God is also happy when we testify of the good things that he has done for us because all we are doing is exalting the name of the Lord. How about when you get the compliment, you are doing great, I like, I like this. Watch out because that can create pride. And God hates pride, proud, proud people. Pride comes before for the book of Proverbs tells us. And God's like the humble heart. Humble yourself before the Lord and he shall exalt you in due time. So, may you desire to know by all means, that the, head, the spirit of Herod is there to search what you have to kill it. That vision, that call, that ministry. May God help us to preserve that by being near the Lord, walking with the right people because bad company ruins good morals. You have to know who you are walking with. By the way, one of the things you can know that you are in the wrong company is if people, if somebody is with you and calling himself or herself a friend and every time you take a step, they are there to discourage you, that's a spirit of hell or do you need to get off? God has not called you to be where your vision will be killed. So I pray that as we add this year, while we are still in the Christmas season spirit, that the Lord may remind you. That there is something that has been born in you. The Prince of Peace. The wonderful Counselor. And as we cross over to 2019. That you will work with all wisdom. And you continue to seek the wisdom from the Lord. Fearing the Lord will give you the wisdom. May the Lord bless you. Let us pray. Father in the name of Jesus I thank you for this word. May my, my listeners and my viewers be blessed. And to know that there is a peace. That we need to protect. Help us Lord. Help us King of Kings. Spirit of the living God give us a spirit of discernment. That we may be able to know. And discern the spirit of Herod. In our lives. In our marriages. In our ministries. In our health. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. Now it all starts with a personal relationship. You are there. You have never trusted the Lord. This is your chance. You can determine to trust the Lord. Remember. God has the power to save us automatically, but he does not do that because he does not want to treat us like robots. He wants us to have the self-will to decide to trust in him. And you can say like a singer, I have decided to follow Jesus. Are you there? Can you say this prayer after me, Lord Jesus? I come before you. I pray that, Lord, you forgive my sins. Light my name in the book of life. Give me a desire to grow spiritually, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. You become a new creature and the old is gone and the new has come. Next step, look for a church nearby where you live that you can go and grow in, that you can call your home church. When you go there, you feel maybe the first church you visit, you don't feel comfortable, please go to a 
another one when you are where you're gonna feel comfortable as your home church when you are there behave like it's your home that you can be able to be a participant not just a spectator and that way you will grow look for ways that you can be able to serve because in serving the lord will grow and the lord will bless you i love you and god loves you the most this is your home for spiritual guidance your voice of hope you can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different servants of god from all over by dialing 563-999-3909 you can also search one word miracle radio that way Using your smartphone, download the app One Word Digital Media. It is free of charge. You'll be blessed 24-7, 366 days a year. When you're blessed, be a blessing to other people. And remember to subscribe to our channel or celebrate your moment with joy. If you have not done so, if you have done so, continue praying for this ministry and the Lord will bless you. Thank you.